Welcome everybody to another episode of We Inspired. Where are we? We are in Whitechapel, the Sainsbury's. Yep. Free parking, two hours. Why not? So we've driven down to Whitechapel um, and we needed to do a couple of things and we thought why not put this on a vlog because we're quite peckish. Is that street food? Yeah, kind of street food, Bangladeshi street food. So we're going to look for Bangladeshi street food and you couldn't find parking anywhere so we came to Sainsbury's to park the car and we have to spend £10. That's right, £10. £10 and yeah. we get two hours for free. So and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. This is Brady Street. So this is where we parked the car and we came out from the exit, yeah? That's right. So we just parked the car, came out the exit. That's the famous White Chapel. This is White Chapel. Yeah. It's Chapel. not as busy as it used to be though. No, nah, no. And there's lots of fruit and veg which you can get. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. How you doing bro? Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. How are you? macros. Mashallah, look. Five macros for a pound. Is that a pound only? Pound, uh, no, sorry, five pound. Five pound? What are you doing with my pound? Five, yes. <laughs> You'd have a queue tomorrow, yeah? <laughs> This is outside the library, mashallah. So, brother here is selling. Library. It's all fresh. How much is that per kilo? Eight pounds. Eight pounds, same yes. as the other shop, yeah? King prawns, bigger one. King prawns, large king prawns, eight pound a kilo. What's the salmon like, brother? The salmon, how much is that? Seven pounds a kilo. Seven pounds a kilo, yeah? yeah? Okay. Now, this is my domain. We've got quite a lot of Bangladeshi vegetables. I'm going to ask how much they are. Wait, take that one. It's a little bit of a I got one for 15 pounds. 15 pounds, yeah. And all the Bangladeshi vegetables. Fresh coriander. Let's go around here. Chili galore. It's really windy here. Look at the size of this, mashallah. Two pounds, you know. Two pounds for that? Yeah, two pounds. Oh, These are super chilli. What are these called? Naga. Naga. Super chilli naga. These are jackfruit seeds. Well. is from jackfruit seeds. For those who don't know. Oh, Bori Shali Amra. We've got Bangladeshi lemon here. To me, Amra wala for me. Okay, but most of the stores sell the same thing but they, like that store we just went to they sell a lot, a lot of the Bangladeshi product like the khatar bees uh, which is the jackfruit seed um, then they sell the amra and the dahi amra what do they call that in, what do they call Body that amra. yeah what do they what is that it's like it's like an olive right like a big olive um, no man it's amra so, uh, I think we're going to go back to the uh, fish market though. I'm going to get myself some fish later. Where are we going to get something to eat? This is the original Modibon sweet store. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum bala sun. Inshallah. Sana, thank you. Thank you. Sir. My hair's gone funny. So we've checked out really. Modubon. What is this one called, bro? Mr. Sweets. Mr. Sweets, yeah? yeah? Is that the same thing? Uh, yeah, well, it's similar. They do a lot of Asian sweets. Yeah. Um, it's mainly Asian sweets, if you can see over here. Let me show them. And then you've got fresh. It's all fresh. They make it in the morning. So you've got a Mishti yogurt. Right, right. These are from Pakistani Mangoni. Recently, season, everybody. Look at this. Malaysia. 
Malaysian. Hot dog KG? Six pound a kg. And Thai jackfruits are some of the best jackfruits available. So, when we go to Thai, we're going to be vlogging them Dorian as well, yeah? So, this is a hot bazaar, quite a famous shop in London's Whitechapel. What, man? Okay, that's a Bangladeshi food, yeah? Bangladeshi style, look. Yeah, Shingara, spring roll, parotta. So Maruf, I think you found it. I think you've discovered it, yeah. Yeah, this is the place. This That's is the place. place I was talking about. Why do you want to go in here? Because this is sort of Bangladeshi style street food. Okay. It's all pure Bangladeshi style street food. Um, check this one. Out. Let me show you. So what is it saying? This is the Lotta one, yeah. This is Lotta. It's got um, what's that? What's that? It's all sort of. It's, it's like a, the 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 data, like a slime, slippery. Is it like yam? Uh, no, it's like the leaf part of it. No, the muki. Yeah, the muti, yeah, the muki, like the cassava sort of taro. Samosa. Let's go sit down. Bro, what's these, bro? This, this must be meatballs. Kofta, yeah? Yeah. Fish. Shish kebabs. Bangladeshi Elisha. Well, they do a nice Bangladeshi breakfast. Lunch and dinner, fish dishes, side dishes, porta, snacks. It's the fresh paratha. This is real Bangladeshi street food. Look at this. You can't go into a normal restaurant and find this. We've just ordered three paratas. One's not enough. Proper street food, guys. As if we were sitting in a cafe in Bangladesh, waiting for our CNG to come over. Got our samosa. Ooh, who's gonna try these chilies out? Fresh paratha here. Bangladeshi style salad. And what is this? Beef buna. This is a beef buna. All right. So, this is the Poncho Kana, White Chapel, and the food looks lovely. Now, what we've ordered, a um, few different things, nice little snacks. So, we've got the beef buna, we've got shish kebab, we're gonna try, we've got lamb samosa, we've got some onion fiazi, nice little salad, this is complimentary, and we've got some paratas. I think it's about one pound each, and Maru's got himself a nice Miranda. And I've got a, pe a Pepsi. We're missing something. Some plates. Nope. What are we missing? We're missing the fish. Oh, fish, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right, I've got this lovely mint sauce, which is very yellowy in color. There's some ketchup. And I'm gonna try. This is the fiazi, which is the onion pakora. So, this is proper street food, by the way, guys. It smells nice and fresh. Bismillah. Nice, nice and crispy. I think they've added some lentils, so it's like the dalibora. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. So it's the lentil and onion dalibora. So. Very nice, very flavoursome. Some ketchup. That's how you do it, don't you? That's the proper Bangladeshi way of eating it. Nice, move, you try it. Let me check this out. Come on, bro. Are you going all push on me? <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. So this is it. Let me give it a go.
That's nice, but I'm not as brave as you, so. Spicy, the green chilies are. Huh? I don't want want it to burn my tongue and ruin the food. Yeah. So I take a small bite, so there's enough so I can sort of taste the spice. Yeah. If you know what I mean? The, yeah, this is nice. Nice, yeah? This is nice. It's Beautiful. nice crispy on the outside. Crispy on the outside, soft in the inside, mm. yeah? Mm. It's already got chilies in it. Yeah. However, it's not the same as having fresh chilies. Like you take a bite of this and a bite of some chilies. Fresh chilies are fresh chilies anyway. Yeah. And then <coughs> what tops it off is they have this. Also raw onions. Yeah? Is my rishka ready yet? <laughs> We've got some time. All this right. is lovely. Let's try the next one. The next. So me and Maru are sharing. So we're going to share the shish kebab. Which one's the bigger piece? I was just about to ask. <laughs> I'll take the bigger piece. <laughs> I was looking at that. I was just about to say, bring out the ruler. <laughs> so that's the oh, you know. shish kebab. So, they do make these fresh, yeah. but it's cooked before, just before service, they heat it up. So it's not as fresh, but it should be hopefully flavorsome. So let me try it with a bit of this sauce. Wow, that was a big bite. Mm. That's nice. The quality of the meat is very nice, nice and tasty. It's not full of spices as you can see. So it's got the fresh onions, uh, coriander. This is like uh, pepper, uh, peppers as well. It must have some chili flakes, and lightly spiced. So it's very nice in flavor. And what I normally like this is with a bit of paratha. So what I'm gonna do. Oh, this is definitely fresh paratha. Yeah. And I love the way they just made that. So what I'm gonna do. Stick my shish kebab. Now I'm making it into a kebab, yeah? And put some salad. Why don't you put one of these, one yeah. of these guys in here? <laughs> no, no, no green chilies. Mm. There you go. Get some of that sauce. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Fresh paratha, lovely shish kebab, juicy, succulent, and tender. This milk, milk sauce is a winner. Very simple, nice and sweet, beautiful with all this shish kebab or the, or, or the pakoras. Wonderful. Where well, are you going to try the samosa now, yeah? Don't worry, I'll leave you the big half. Right, so these are not a lot of these samosas you can buy from this company and they do the same samosas everywhere a lot of news agents supermarkets however this they've made inside oh yeah, that looks this, nice bro they've made in-house mm. yeah it's in-house isn't it yeah sometimes when you buy it from this company it's cold they have a lot of onions in it this you can see there's a lot more chicken in it yeah although so, we asked for a meat samosa didn't we yeah but we've got a chicken but it's fine let me try it Nice? I like that. Not too spicy, no? No, not spicy at all. You can take the normal spice, but not overwhelmingly spicy. Yeah. It's, um, and the fact that it's got the peas in it, chicken and peas, and the onions. Nice, yeah? Mm. Let's crack on. Right, guys, I'm gonna try something. I've never, don't try this at home. So what we're going to do is, this is fresh paratha, I love this, this is soft and it's warm, so then I'm going to do this, I'm going to try this, here, one of these, show us that, bloody hell, you being brave there Maruf, I'm going to try it, it's aloeable bro, it's too hot, I'm 
Zale lat ma rynny. This is macro chutney, my dad's favorite. So normally we have this with rice, but we're gonna have it with paratha. Hello. This is quite simple to make, right? Yeah, so it's just fried mackerel, Hello. and then just uh, taking the bones out and then shredded onions. Um, sometimes they add garlic, the dried chilies mashed up, coriander, a bit of spices like so, uh, actually just not no spices is salt and sometimes mustard oil and um, yeah that's it really so what I'm gonna do so it's quite simple yeah very simple it tastes really nice very flavorsome I can't smell the, I can't smell the mustard oil and my mum makes it but Simple, subtle flavors. They've done a decent job to it. How did it go with the paratha? Because I've never had it with paratha. No, nice. Yeah. A very spicy tuna sandwich, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Maruf, you're gonna try the main event here. Yeah? This is the big boy. Beef. Go on, bro. <laughs> very oily and greasy. But my, this is this is home style. This is home style. Yeah, Saying this, my wife is actually cooking something like this at home today. So <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me try this. So, well, it's quite soft, very soft. And look, it's just breaking, tearing away. What I'm gonna do is get a piece of paratha. Looks nice. It looks fantastic. Proper beef, yeah? It smells fantastic. How's it taste, bro? Mm. Is it spicy? Is it lots of mushla? You can taste the flavor. Yeah. It's not spicy at all. So this yeah. is actually a good dish. So if, you, if you're not a fan of spice. Medium spice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's medium. It's not like your normal kurma, you know, yeah. it's, it's a medium spice, so it's, it's decent. So guys, they've done a cracking job on this. It looks like a proper Buna authentic home style dish. Maru's enjoying it. Now we're going to tuck in and demolish this. Right, that was a smashing meal. Really enjoyed it. Beef Buna, really home style. What you would get at home, that's exactly how they cooked it. The mackerel chutney, definitely flavoursome. Uh, be careful of the green chilies. The pakoras were absolutely phenomenal, really Bangladeshi style. The paratha, once again, very simple and very uh, nice and flavoursome. And here I am, wrap it around the pakora with my uh, paratha, some mint sauce. Yummy. Now this is really enjoyable. We're all done, and Maru's done now. I'm trying to finish up, do the food a bit of justice. I don't think I can finish up the last pakora. But the guys have done a smashing job. The food is very tasty. Uh, the re this, this type of food is what you get at home. So if that's what you want to try, rather than the British Indian restaurant way, come and try this little place. Very nice. Street food at its best. Food's done. Now we're going to go and pay. Oh, sure? mashallah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, £19.60, but he's so generous, he's given us for £15. And guys, you can even get Bangladeshi shupari for now. There's a beetle now. Shupari, shupari, yeah? Shupari, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely little meal, Bangladeshi uh, treat, and it was about £19.60. We spent £15 in there at a phenomenal meal. So, if you come down to London's Whitechapel, Poncho Kana, really traditional Bangladeshi food, come and enjoy it over here. We parked the car outside Sainsbury's, so we've had two hours, so we're going to need to do a bit of shopping in Sainsbury's and hopefully go home.
It's a really nice meal and the people are lovely and friendly. So that was a street food that we wanted to show in Whitechapel. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now don't forget to um, like, share and subscribe for more fantastic videos that we inspired.